Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be looking at the Sky Basic Wi-Fi Digital Microscope. This is a pretty cool device that you can use with your Windows computer, with your Mac computer, with your Android smartphone or with your iPhone. It has 8 LED lights that you can regulate the brightness. The video recording resolution is Full HD and the magnification range is 1000x, which is quite impressive. And you're gonna see that in the sample footage that we're gonna be recording today. So yeah, this is a pretty cool device. Let's get started. And before we start, if you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please support it with a like. I appreciate it very much. Without further ado, let's get started. When I'm doing some repairs, sometimes it's necessary to see the small parts. And I didn't want to buy a stationary microscope because I don't do that many repairs. But something that I can use once in a while. This is a pretty good portable microscope. So we get in the thank you card for the purchase. You get in a small adjustable stand for the microscope. It is pretty tiny and we're going to test it a little bit later. You also get in a USB cable that you can connect to the computer and then you can just download the software for Windows or Mac and you don't need to connect it via Wi-Fi, which I found is better than connecting it via Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi signal can be lost sometimes and it disconnects automatically. So I find when you connect it to the computer via the USB cable, it works much better. This is just a micro USB cable, it's not the USB type C. Then you also get in a plastic stationary stand for this microscope. And of course, here's our microscope. It's pretty tiny. As you can see, the build quality looks pretty good. It's made entirely out of plastic. All the buttons are plastic. Everything's made out of plastic, but it feels pretty sturdy. Then you also get in a quick start guide and a user manual that will tell you how to use this microscope. But overall, it is pretty simple. I'm going to show you how to use it in this video if you want to stay tuned. But if you want to learn more in details how to use this microscope, you can just read this guide and it will tell you all the details about this microscope. Let's go ahead and wait and see how much it weighs. I'm just going to use my kitchen scale. All right, there we go. So it's 71 gram. Pretty light. If we switch it to ounces, it's going to be two and a half ounces. All right, let's have a closer look at the microscope itself. So on the back here, there is a micro USB port, 5 volt. It can be used for charging as well as for the data transfer. Also, there are two holes for the LED lights. The LEDs are inside, so these are just the holes. If we're looking at the front of the microscope where it says Sky Basic, I consider this is the front and this is going to be the rear. So if we're looking at the front, here is your focus wheel. That will allow you to focus on an image so you can get a clear view. Then there is also the power slash photo button. You can press this button for like 3 seconds and it will turn on. Or you can just press it once and then it will take a shot. Then you also have the LED brightness regulator. So you can regulate it to the minimum or you can regulate it to the max. There are 8 LED lights in this microscope which gives it a pretty good brightness. Then you also get in this plastic cover that you should keep close all the time. And only open it when you need to use the microscope. Otherwise you might get some dust particles inside there. And if they stick to the surface of the lens, those dust particles will look pretty large. Then on another side, you got two buttons. One is the minus, one is the plus. So this is going to be for the digital zoom. If you want to zoom it up more than the optical capability of this microscope, then you can use the digital zoom and it will just enlarge the picture. It's basically going to be the same as you enlarge the picture on your monitor. It's not going to make it clear, but it's going to make it bigger. So that's all the buttons that come with this microscope. It is pretty light, very handy. The stand is made of some polished metal. I can't tell exactly what kind of metal it is, but it feels pretty heavy. It's going to be heavy enough to hold the microscope. The holding bracket is made of transparent plastic. Then this part is made of the same looking plastic. As you can see, it is very shiny. Looks pretty stylish. So as you can see, there is a ridge over here in the middle of this bracket. And there is a groove on the microscope. As you can see, there is a groove over here. So you just need to put the microscope into this groove like this. And then you can just adjust it the way you like it. You can rotate it 360, so it's pretty good. Then you can just adjust it the way you like it. For example, if you're looking at something very close to the surface, you can put it like this and then make it tight. As you can see, it's kind of falling over if you put it like this so you probably would need to loosen it up a little bit 
and put it like this so it doesn't overhand too much it's still top heavy it wants to tip over it won't fall over like it still stands pretty good so for example if you put something over here that you want to look under the microscope you can focus with this focus wheel it's just going to stand still and then you can see it on your monitor whatever you're looking at so the stand is pretty light you have to find a good balance for it if you hold it pretty close it doesn't matter or you can put it like this and then you can just get an object close to the microscope but i don't think this is going to be a good idea because the focus range is going to be always different so you're not going to get a clear view of the object so the best way to do it i think would be to put it like this and then it stays pretty good like it it can tip over if you if you hit it like it's going to fall over but for the most cases it's just going to stand still and you can also put something else over here to make it heavier and then it won't move or if you want to make it stationary you can drill a couple holes take a piece of wood and then just put a couple screws here then it will be much sturdier and it won't fall over so you can improve this stand if you like but i don't use this stand very often in the most cases what i'm using it for i'm not even using this stand i'm just using the microscope itself and i'm just getting it closer to the object and then i just regulate the focus distance with this focus wheel all right let's go ahead and check out the manual see how we can connect it to the android smartphone and then we're also going to check it on the windows laptop to connect it to the android smartphone you need to go to the google play and download the max c program or if you're using an iphone you can go to the apple app store and download the same app it's called maxi after that we're going to be able to connect it via wi-fi to the camera so let's go ahead and download the program then click install after the installation is complete let's go ahead and turn on the microscope just going to press the power button for like three seconds and then once we see the led lights are on that means the microscope is turned on as you can see the led lights are pretty bright so they're gonna give us good illumination. Then let's go ahead and open up this app that we just installed. You gotta give access to the photos media. Then we need to connect it to the camera. As you can see, we have the Maxi E371. Just click connect. As you can see, it connected, but it says the internet is unavailable, of course, because this is not the internet connection. Let's go back to the Maxi app. And there we go, it's connected. So now we have to remove the front cover from the microscope and get some proper object just to test this microscope. So for example, let's go ahead and check out this manual. I'm just gonna enlarge the manual. So what I'm gonna be checking right now is this picture of the laptop. As we see, there are separate pixels because as we know, the color is made from three different types of pixels or three different types of ink. And under the microscope, we can see those separate colors, which give us the actual color. Yeah, we can see the dots from the printer. There we go. As you can see, I was just checking up there. So the picture itself is very, very small, as you can see. But under the microscope, it is so large that you can even see the separate color dots. All right, let's check out something more interesting. Let's go ahead and check out this microfiber towel. See how it looks under the microscope. Wow, you can see separate strings. Pretty good for the budget $40 microscope. Then I also found a feather. Let's check out how it looks under the microscope. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful. It's made out of 100 separate lines that are connected together and each one has its own color as you can see there is a yellow color right there there's like a dark blue color and you can even see those smaller particles on the feather that are almost perpendicular to the baseline wow this looks amazing and i'm actually surprised how this budget level microscope works this is amazing so you can definitely find some good use for the microscope especially because it's portable so right now I'm going to be using the stand. This will make it easier for me to focus because I don't have to change the focus all the time. It's going to be at the same focus and I'm just going to be moving the object that I'm going to be looking at. As you can see, it is focused perfectly right now. And this way I can just move the object 
In this particular case, this is the feather. So I'm just going to be sliding the feather and checking it out. There is an option you can take a photo if you like, if you press the button on the screen, or you can take a video if you like as well. And then you can look it after later and see how it's going to look. And you can also share it with others. All right, so now I found the old leaf from one of the plants that I got. And let's see how it looks under the microscope. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty ugly, I should say, because this is an old leaf. We can also use the digital zoom as well to see how it's going to even magnify more. Then also found another dried out leaf from Ginkgo biloba. Let's see how it's going to look under the microscope. This all dried out leaf looks like it's brand new under the microscope. It looks green. Yeah, like check it out. This is how it looks in reality. And under the microscope, it looks absolutely green. That's amazing. My desk actually looks pretty ugly because whatever is covering that desk under the microscope, it doesn't look good. I also got another piece of plant that we're going to look under the microscope. See if it has a different structure. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Let's take a picture of it. You can also rotate it 180 degrees if you need to rotate the picture. You can start recording the video if you like. So whatever I'm looking at right now, it's recording a video. And then I can share this video with wherever I want, or I can use this video to watch it later. If I go to the gallery, you can see all the pictures that you have taken. And also all the videos. Yeah, it works great. Awesome. You can also use this microscope with the computer using operating system Windows or Mac OS. So it can be run on both operating systems, no matter what operating system you have. Let's go ahead and connect it to the computer and see how it's going to work. For that, we're going to need a USB cable that's coming with the package. This is a micro USB cable. Let's connect the micro USB end to the microscope and the USB type A connector to the computer or laptop. After that, we're going to need to download the camera app from internet. Or if you already have any video capture software on your computer, you can use that software and it will work with this camera. Basically, it's going to be like a webcam with the microscope. All the details how to download the app for the microscope are written in the manual. So check it out. But we're just going to type inscam.com slash download slash camera dot zip. But it says that, sorry, the page you request cannot be found. So the common mistake that happens, you forget to type in www. So we're going to have to type in www.inscam.com slash download slash camera dot zip. And as you can see, the file has been downloaded automatically. So you just got to show it in folder. Then we got to unzip it from the archive and run it. There we go. So now it's running. As you can see, it's already working. So as you can see, it is very simple, but you can also use other apps. I prefer using the OBS Studio app. It has more options in that app and I prefer to use it that way. Okay, let's go ahead and check out what this app looks like. Right now we're in the photo mode. Let's go to the settings, check out the device. It says general UVC. As you can see, there is also my webcam there. So we're just going to leave it as a general UVC. This is a microscope. Then you can choose the recording method. You can choose different video format, compressor. So this is a pretty sophisticated program, pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and check out this plant again. See how it looks on the computer. I'm just going to focus right now. The screen is bigger than on the cell phone. 
So I prefer using it with a computer more than with the smartphone, even though the smartphone is more convenient because you can use it anywhere you go. But if you use it on a desk, I prefer just connecting it straight through the USB cable. It's a lot quicker to connect and then the signal is not getting dropped because I noticed that Wi-Fi signal sometimes gets dropped and then you have to reconnect it. Sometimes it doesn't want to reconnect. So I find there are sometimes issues with the Wi-Fi connection to the camera, but there is no problem with the USB connection. Let's go ahead and check out the feather again, see how it looks. As you can see, it is very good. So you can record video as well. You can make it full screen if you like. So if you're using it on a regular laptop screen, it's like 15 inch screen. If you use a monitor like 24, 27 inch monitor, it's gonna be very large. So definitely good quality for the cheap budget microscope. It allows you to see a lot of details and the picture quality is good. And depending on how close you get the microscope to the object, you can get different magnification. As you can see right now, I have increased the distance between the object and the microscope and I'm getting magnification, but it's not as large as it was before. So it's good. You can decide whether you need a huge magnification like a thousand X, or if you don't need such huge magnification and you just wanna see some major details. As you can see, once you get closer, you can see a lot more detail. Yeah, and the picture is very clear too, so very good. You can choose the save location path for photos and videos. I prefer to save it on the desktop. This way I know where to find it because by default it is located in the very hard to get location. Let's have a look at the sample footage that I have made. This is a PCB from the USB flash drive. As you can see, this is a USB 3.0 connector. You can see all the electronic components such as resistors, capacitors, flash memory, controller, everything on this PCB. This is very handy when you need to find the faulty component just by visually inspecting the PCB because it is much larger than what you can see through the regular magnifying glass. So what is my conclusion for this microscope? Do I think it's worth buying? I should say that the build quality is pretty good. I would give it a B. It's not the premium microscope. It's made all entirely out of plastic, but the build quality is good. There is no play anywhere. The material is good. For the picture quality, I would give it an A because this is a 1080p quality. You can get a 4K microscope nowadays, which will be a more higher resolution. But I think for this price, it is pretty good microscope. You can see pretty much anything. It gives you a lot of detail. It has eight LED lights for extra light. In the package, it includes a stand, a USB cable. So you get a pretty good bundle of everything you need. And for the price, I think it would be really handy to have one if you're dealing with electronics or if you're dealing with anything that you need to see any small parts or if you're doing any science experiments, it would be really handy to have one or you can even get one for yourself for your hobbies. So I definitely recommend getting one if you like to investigate the micro world. But this is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, please support it with a like. If you first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down in the comment section below. And let me know what you think about this microscope. Let me know if you're going to buy one and what you're going to be using it for. Also, if you want to support my channel, you can go ahead and watch more videos. I have a lot of interesting videos on my channel and more to come. So stay tuned. And this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.